Welcome back everybody. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I got my start on YouTube 13 years ago. I called myself the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter because hunting elk, harvesting elk, and processing wild big game is one of my pastimes, one of my favorite hobbies, if you will. I just pulled some ground elk out of the freezer. This is from last year's 6x6 bull elk during muzzle loading season. I'm heading up to the mountains with my buddy Steve. We have to get the muzzle loaders sighted in for hunting. And we've got a great idea for a recipe. We're calling it a green chili cheddar elk burger. Let's give it a try. So wild game is really lean. Unlike ground beef, let's say, it's raised with a high fat content for flavor. Uh, wild game is very lean. You have to add fat to it. So this is 80% ground elk with bacon and beef fat. That's gonna allow us to be able to form a patty with it later. So we've got some really cool things for you today. My buddy Steve here is with me. He's actually behind the camera. And a lot of you, this is gonna blow your mind. Let me pull some of this out so you can see it. This is called high temperature cheese. Now, unless you're a hunter or a sausage maker, you would have no clue what that is. It's a processed cheese that's developed to put into sausages. So you know if you ever buy a summer sausage or a custom sausage like a bratwurst that has cheese inside of it at, at the butcher shop, that is what they're using. They're using a high temperature cheese, and this happens to be cheddar. We're gonna go ahead and mix some of this up, these pieces of cheddar with our ground elk. This is the first time I've ever done this in a video. I've made patties like this before, but I've never put it in a video. And so the cool thing about the high temperature cheese is the cheese holds its form. It's not gonna fall out. It's not gonna melt out like when you make those, what are they called, the Juicy Lucy or whatever, uh, hamburger. So the cheese is gonna stay inside the patty. It comes refrigerated. You have to keep it refrigerated or frozen. So we freeze it and then just pull it out of the freezer anytime we wanna make sausage or burgers. Dump this out on a cutting board. This might remind you of meatloaf, maybe like a cheesy meatloaf. Steve, I'm gonna ask for your expertise here. What are you thinking on size-wise? I mean, do we need to go bigger? I think that's a good quarter pound. Okay, so that's maybe a quarter pound, maybe a little bit under a quarter pound or so. Green chili season here in the American Southwest, they're just starting to come out. If you've never had a fresh roasted green chili, these are Hatch. Got them at the flea market yesterday. There's an unmistakable smell when you're talking about a Hatch green chili, a Pueblo green chili. Shout out to the Musso family. Get some clean gloves here. Uh, these are medium Hatch green chili. Come on in here, Steve. We'll uh, just cut these open. You can leave the seeds in them if you want to, uh, but we'll just cut these open and try to scrape the seeds out. Steve, we're gonna let this be up to you. How do you, do you want these like a big half piece or do you want to go small? I say we go halves. Let's go halves. All right, folks, so we're going to cut these in half like that and we'll put like one big piece like that on top of each burger today. We'll keep rolling and we'll let Steve, my camera guy, take a sniff on camera. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> We were gonna originally get torta rolls. Uh, then I thought about brioche roll, and I couldn't find what I wanted, so I ended up getting ciabatta. A little ciabatta flour on top, real dense, bro, soft on the inside. For a long time, I held out on doing the mayo on the inside of the rolls. makes your buns extra crispy, better color. The sun's getting to be a little bright over here, so I do have the 28 inch Adventure Ready model. Check it out. You're getting to see just how portable this unit is. This is my favorite large griddle for portable cooking here, so we're gonna move this over here out of the direct sun. We have the temperature on high. We wanna sear our burgers today. Extra virgin olive oil here. The griddle doesn't care what kind of oil you use, so if you wanna use canola oil or veggie oil, have at it. And these beautiful, approximately, eyeballed quarter pound patties here. Put them down, you can hear that sizzle. Oh, baby. 
And I'm gonna do a simple seasoning on these today. Um, I don't want to overpower it. I could use Blackstone's brand new Hatch Chili and Cheddar seasoning. I could, but we are doing it traditional with a fresh Hatch Chili. So I picked this up when I'm in my travels this uh, summer. It's called Smoked Chili Sea Salt. Let's do it. <music> And the cool thing about doing burgers on a flat top on a Blackstone is if you want to, you can press them, right? That's always a cardinal sin, they say, when you're on an open graded grill because, of course, you're going to get a grease flare up. You're going to get a fire. We're not doing that here. So this isn't a smash burger, but we want to get a good sear on there. So let's see what these things look like. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect, perfect sear. That's exactly what you want here. Oh, yeah. I mean, check that out. That is the... Gorgeous looking crust. You can see that grease on there. Mm -mm -mm. So we'll flip these and we're going to go straight to it, folks. These, of course, are roasted, but we're going to put them down on the griddle top just to get them warm. There we go. Green chilies down. Okay, like so. Blackstone egg rings, the silicone egg rings, these work wonderfully. I always like to use the nonstick griddle spray or PAM. If you don't have Blackstone, go ahead and use PAM. Works fine. Spray the inside of the rings like that. When I posted uh, a social media picture the other day of my, um, look at there, it's real life folks, I have a shell in there, there we go, got that out, um, when I posted the picture of the green chilies, the number one comment I received is, oh baby, get the eggs ready, people just tend to associate green chilies with eggs for some reason, speaking of eggs here, we'll go in here and give it a little hit of that uh, smoked chili sea salt. Hey, this could be salt, pepper, garlic, and again, it could be your Blackstone Hatch chili seasoning as well. These chilies are ready to be consumed, folks. I just wanted to heat them up a little bit, so here's what I'm gonna do. I warmed them up. We're gonna put one down on, on each patty. Notice we have an extra patty just in case I mess something up here. Uh, we're gonna put these chilies down on top. We want to seal the deal. We've got cheddar, of course, inside our burgers, but I'm thinking an extra slice of cheddar on top will help to uh, get that uh, green chili to stay in place. So it'll seal the deal, just like with a quesadilla. So we're gonna pull the egg. Uh, we definitely don't want those eggs to burn. Let's go ahead and toast these up, Steve. So there's that mayo that I told you about earlier. Put the mayo side down. Oh man, I can hear that sizzle already. Uh, the eggs, we want to walk a fine line here. That's not quite ready yet. We want it to have a runny yolk, uh, but as you can see, that yolk there is a little too runny. So we're going to let that go for another uh, minute or so until that yolk sets up just a little bit. We got the 28 inch griddle here and the Blackstone uh, Adventure Ready uh, prep cart as well. Blackstone has Adventure Ready 17 inch griddle. Adventure Ready 22, Adventure Ready 28 griddle, Adventure Ready 17 with air fryer, and Adventure Ready 17 with a side burner as well. So all kinds of fun stuff. Let's check our rolls here, give them one last press. Oh yeah, baby cakes, look at that. That's what you want, and that's what mayo can do for you. So there's our crown. Uh, there's the heels over here. Uh, I think we're okay there for a runny egg. Check that out. Let's put that on top of this one right there like so. And that one's not bad either. You can see the, uh, the whites of the eggs have set up and the yolk is half runny, you know, half solid. And that's kind of what I want. I don't want it to be too messy, but we do want to be able to cut it and get that gorgeous runny egg. We'll put that one right down here. Beautiful ciabatta rolls. Let's pick our patty off and put it straight down there on top of that roll. Oh my goodness. Time for the crown. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at there. Look at there. Can you see that? Right there. Look, I didn't even need to cut it. That's what people want to see right there. Take a look at that. Let's give it a try. Absolutely love it. So 
Saw the green chilies at the flea market the other day, first of the season, had to jump on it and buy those. And then Steve had the idea of the high temperature cheese because we're getting ready to go hunting. He's checking out his supplies and he realized he had high temperature cheese in the freezer. Mmm. So you can't beat it. My goodness, folks. Um, if you want this recipe and more, go to blackstoneproducts.com. Make sure you're checking out everybody's weekly shows, CJ, Nate, and Desiree. Follow us, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Kyle even does TikTok. I'm not on TikTok yet. But until next time, everybody, this is Todd and Steve. We're singing Praise the Lord and Pass the Green Chili, Chili Cheddar, Cheddar Burgers. Burgers.